welcome back to my channel. Today is pantry organization day and I am so excited to share this with you. I've been working on this for like three days now and I'm very ready to be finished and I'm very ready to share with you the process. I'm gonna walk you through how I started, the products that I picked. We're gonna get things restocked in the pantry and then you are going to see the final product. If you are new here, my name is Rhea Peterson. I upload twice a week, typically on Tuesdays and Saturdays, and I cover things like cleaning and organization motivation. I also love to talk about food, so I upload like healthy family recipes, meal prep is a big thing for me. I am a certified NASM personal trainer. I love to talk about food, and I love to talk about having just a healthy relationship with food. So. If you are not already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and let's get started. Here is the messy pantry. What I am going to do first is empty all the shelves and wipe them all down. Um, I need a clean slate to organize this. I toyed with the idea of just doing it section by section, but the way that I think everything needs to go. So we're gonna get all of these shelves cleared off. That might be all that I get done today, but I'm gonna clear all these shelves off and wipe down everything and then let the ideas flow. Okay, so I grabbed all of our laundry baskets and I am just going to get everything off the shelves and as I do it, I'm putting everything into categories so that it is a lot easier to put everything back in. Uh, but one thing I do want to mention is that I did just get a new camera, which is very exciting, but there is a bit of a learning curve and this pantry project was its maiden voyage. I am really enjoying learning a new camera, but if you see like shaky camera or any weird exposures, it's just I'm learning and it will get better with time. But having said that, I'm going to continue clearing off the shelves of all the food and everything so that I can clean them because they are gross. So this is the next day. I did say this was a multi-day project, but after vacuuming all of the shelves off, I am just wiping them down with Thieves Cleaner and they were disgusting, but there were a few spots that I couldn't get off with just the microfiber cloth. So I'm going to take a magic eraser to them, but the shelves are looking really good. It's a new build, but just by moving things around and having like dirty products on it, they're a little gross, but these cleaned it up really well. Let's talk, meet me at the avenue. Okay, here's the mess with everything out of the pantry. I had just gone grocery shopping, so I just hadn't bothered putting anything away but it is quite the mess, but I am gonna take a minute and show you just most of the products that I'm using. I forgot like two, but I'll talk about them later. Okay, here is everything that I got. I got turntables these are gonna go great in the corner to make it easy to get to things so nothing's stuck in there I have these baskets that I got at Target they're really sturdy these are their bright room collection and they're really affordable so I got these for snacks 
These for other, I mean, it's, they're all for stuff in the pantry, so I guess I don't need to explain all of it, but I got these at Ikea. These big bins are only $6.99, which I feel is a pretty good deal. They're good thick plastic. They'll last a good long time. Then I got these Better Homes and Gardens laundry baskets. They're collapsible. I'll talk about them more, but I got these at Walmart as, as well as the turntables. And then these are the home edit. I also got these through Walmart. Um, it was a set, so it comes with the big pantry bin, the risers, which I was most excited about, and these little containers. There's actually two of these that come in it, but these sit in there really nice. Oh, and it comes with two of these as well. Um, it just slides in really nicely, so these will be very useful. And then the last like container I got, aside from some like flour and sugar containers, uh, were these. I got these on Amazon. I liked them because they had the lid and they kind of go with everything else. I wanted something that wasn't clear. So I opted for these. They came in a four pack. The only drawback is that this is not like a tight seal. It just kind of sits on there, which for what I'm using them for is fine. But if you needed them to like the lid to stay on better, like if you're pulling it off a really high shelf, I would probably not get these ones. But I like it, they're really easy to stack. And again, they came in a four pack, which is nice. I got some nice labels and some clips to stick on. This clip, it does fit on here well. It just needs to be pulled open a little bit. But these clips come with a bunch of different sticker labels that you can use. And then these as well are clear, like they're clear. It's just the letters that you'll see. I thought about white, but you can't see the white on a lot of things. And I was reading the reviews and most people were saying like, I can't see the white. So I opted to get the black words. That is it. So I'm going to get out some of the bins that I know I'm going to use and I'm going to sort things into categories, pull out the get rid of. I know that there is a lot that I can ditch here. Um, and then go from there. It's overwhelming. It is so overwhelming. Oh my gosh. All of that. Oh boy. Ooh. Okay, so betwixt the mess, we're gonna talk a little bit about what I've got here, what some of my like pretty solidified ideas are. So I got these laundry baskets. They're like collapsible laundry baskets. <clears throat> And they have these like metal reinforced sides that you can Velcro in. And then once you do that, it looks like this. So there's that. So when I was online trying to find stuff, get ideas, see what I wanted, I, um, I did measure them against the shelves. I can actually slide this in to any of the shelves, which is really nice. Um, it like, it's a perfect fit. It could not be any taller, it wouldn't fit. Um, but things like protein kind of get lost up on the top shelf. And so I wanted to try and get this a little bit better organized but not have them sticking out all the time because I don't use them constantly. And so what I decided was that I was gonna keep them in these baskets, but you can't see what they are and so I'm gonna take my label maker. I got this on Amazon. This thing is so handy. It comes, you download an app and you can just make your labels on it. So you just turn it on. You have to charge it, but you turn it on and then it comes with this app. You just open it and then you can create your labels on it. So I'm just gonna do a new label. And then you just put your text in. This one that I just put in is birth Oreo birthday cake, or birthday cake Oreo. It's really good, actually. I'm gonna do all caps. I'm fine with that font size and everything. So then you go to print. And then it just comes out. Clip it. And there you have your label. Fun. It just fits right in the basket. It's very exciting. I'm gonna keep doing that. The way you make me grounded, thinking about the way you.
high in the pantry. I have these wire shelves that we actually got from a neighbor. <laughs> um, there was nothing here and it was just a lot of wasted space. So we took advantage of these free shelves. They don't match the other ones, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna put these up on this top shelf. It's the paper towels, and then I have one that has all of the Ziplocs in it and like extra foil and parchment paper. So I'm gonna put these up on this top shelf and pray that I don't fall to my death. I am on a ladder. Connor helped me and he got the big ladder out. So. Hopefully I'll survive this. So I'm gonna go through all of the first aid, pull out all the empties, and fit everything in here. I think it's going to fit a lot better, like all of Harley's meds, except for like her everyday pills. Um, but everything should fit in here a lot nicer. Thankfully all of the first aid stuff fit in that bin and we are going to save a fortune on band-aids now because Aunt Alice cannot get them as easily. But now I'm just going to put in all of our like syrups and things that we use for hot chocolate and drinks and then do the coffee pods and get that all taken care of. I spent a bit of time waiting for all of the baskets for our snacks so it's a little random but I was just doing what I could do until I could get the snacks out of the way but I do love how this turned out. It's so much easier to get to the syrups and all of these pods fit in there perfectly. Turn the lights down low, throw the pillows off the bed, blow the candles out, move your body slow, we got something These baskets you might recognize, I have them in green already, but I wanted the white and I got these at Ikea. Here's where I kind of have left off. I've gone back and forth on what I want to use these for. I bought them with a specific intention from the container store. They're really cool and they're stackable, which is fun. Um, and I like how I can actually stack them in my shelves. We are very limited to the height of things. These are not adjustable shelves. They are built in, kind of. Um, <clears throat> so. I was going to put like produce in here or pasta, but then I realized just how many canned goods I actually had. And I also have these bins, these home edit bins. And some of the cans are just really big and they're not even gonna fit on here. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finally get the cans out of the laundry basket. It also happens to be laundry day, which is really motivating to get it done because I need the baskets. If you watched my laundry motivation video, you know how important all of the laundry baskets are. So I'm going to get all of my canned goods put up here and I hope that it works. Like that's organizing, right? I have an idea in my head. I'm gonna see if it works and if it doesn't, I'm going to adapt and figure out something new. So let's do the canned goods and then we will move on probably to what was originally going to go in here. There you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky. When you took my hand, said, let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. I wanna loud, out loud. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder.
all of the pasta fit in there very nicely, so I'm just getting those up on the shelf. I'm gonna put all of my other condiments in these two bins and on the turntable, I'm going to put like the smaller bottles to make them more easily accessible. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm going to put all of my cookbooks up on the shelf. I got some clear acrylic bookends to hold them up and I moved them down a shelf. They used to be on the top, but I wanted to move them down a shelf and it worked out really well with the placement of everything else. You can see that I've already put some things in the white bins and I will talk about those later. That was just some stuff that I did kind of later on in the evening and I did not press record. I am so sorry. Again, new camera, but I will show you them. Okay, so now it's time for the dry goods like flour and sugar and oats. Um, these are the OXO pop canisters. Um, they're four quart, 4.4 4 quarts. I could have gone a little bit bigger, but I wanted the option of being able to fit it on shelves other than the top shelf. So I am going to get all of these filled and ready to go and we will put them up on the shelf. Funnily enough, they are going on the top shelf back here, but I am excited to get these off the up there and now I just have like let me show you the random bins like crackers and then I have all of these empty jars that are going to serve a purpose I didn't want to buy all new containers I have some nice glass ones that I can use so I am going to get the crackers refilled get all of those done and then clean up the massive mess that I have made. Both her ankles, 21 by the t shirt. That's the stuff. Goddamn, she's so fly. No side of pride, a good song. So I did not get all new everything. I shopped my house. These baskets weren't being utilized like I originally planned, so they are now in the pantry and they got to serve a purpose and I'm actually really happy with it. This bin, I'm putting all of the cookie cutters in. I put everything into baggies depending on like the theme or the holiday and everything fit in here really, really nicely. And I even had room for all of my cupcake liners, which was really handy as well. could have made these labels on my own, but I did not want to break out the old silhouette that I have. I have not made the jump to the Cricut, but I really do love the convenience of these stickers. Not everybody has a vinyl cutter, 
And these are awesome. And they come in all different sizes of stickers and tons of different labels that you can get for the pantry or like even your garage. So I did love the convenience of those. I'm using just all of the other available bins to fill and then the baskets for the snacks finally came. So I'm gonna get all of the snacks finally restocked and my kids honestly were very delighted once I did this. We are nearly done. Just getting some last minute labels put on. I have this tissue box that I'm going to put all of our nitrile gloves in. I just wanted something a little prettier than the box. And I have something I want to do for my kids, chore sticks, but then I can show you the final product. I'm so excited. These are my kids' chore lists. I just have them like command script to the wall, but it works. I was trying to think of a solution for their sticks. They get to earn uh, money on the weekends, and so they have specific sticks that are color coded to earn money. Um, but I feel like painters taping Ziploc bags to the wall is not the end solution. And so while I was at Ikea getting these bins, I came across these. These are really cool. They come in pieces here and it's just this little bucket and you can suction them to the wall and it's a little sticky. It's kind of a tacky feel to it, but it just sticks. So I'm hoping this will work as a better solution for their money sticks. So this is Hugo's and I will make labels at some point, but they are already labeled at the chore It just suctions right in. There's like a little bit of air that, you know, shoots up, but it's pretty solid. Yeah, it's pretty solid. And then all of his earned money sticks go right in there. They don't stick up as much as I thought, but still, I like it. I think that'll work. I know the next morning when the sun goes out, it might be the last day. Okay, so up here we have storage, which is like Ziploc bags, you know, freezer bags, things like that. I have paper towels in here. And over here I have just kind of the miscellaneous items I use to take food to people or to package things for like potlucks and stuff. Then of course we have all of the dry food canisters in here. All of this is pretty much baking and I didn't have enough stickers for baking so I will probably need to make my own in my silhouette. But 
I know what is in here and my kids, there's no reason for any of my kids to reach in here so I wasn't as stressed about labeling these. Down here, we just have all of the tiny jams, peanut butter and honey. And then these are all of like the supplement drinks that I drink after our workouts and to stay hydrated. Cereal, we are not big cereal eaters. <laughs> I do need to refill these, but got our cereal here. I moved my cookbooks down and I like this spot. I can see them better. It's easier to get them in and out. All of the Harley things keeping her going. And then this also has to do with Harley. The nitrile gloves for Connor to use in the backyard to take care of what she leaves us. All the canned goods, which I'm really happy with how these turned out. It's a simple thing to have risers, but I love it. It's really nice to look at. I can see everything. It's a lot easier to rotate. I am so happy with these. And I love the pivot that I took with these. I think this is great with all of the different sized cans, the ones that I'm less likely to have a lot of. I'm really happy with how these are working. I do love how versatile they are though too, so I could change it up if I wanted to. All of the nuts and crackery snacks. Then these guys, we do chocolate chip pancakes a lot. That's why they're right next to the pancake mix. This is Demerara sugar. Connor loves to sprinkle this on his oats in the morning. So this is like the little breakfast corner. I am boring, so I don't eat any of this usually. I make toast and eggs. This snacks. Looking so good in there. I realized we have an excessive amount. I'm probably going to thin out the options at some point. Here we like to do popcorn on the weekends. More snacks, but these are more for Connor and myself. These are our protein bars. Connor really loves to have these as a treat, and then I love these post-run. So this is kind of the mom and dad snacks, and then the rest are for the kids. And then just the bigger bag chips. I thought about putting these in containers, but I just prefer the bags. Down here is dry foods. So like all of my gluten-free flour, back stock of rice, and then just kind of the random things that you need. All of my proteins are in there. We have a big bucket of steel cut oats. We buy them in bulk through Bob's Red Mill all of the trash bags, different storage for like baking. This one I marked cooking because they didn't have waffle irons as an option, but I have all of our waffle irons in here, my big hot pot and our air pop, and my mixer, since they're all just kind of the small appliances that are hard to place. And then all the big guys over here. And then just some of the attachments in my little ice cube trays. And then over here, we've just got all our pastas and sauces. But that's it, that's the pantry. I am so happy with how it turned out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some pantry organization ideas. I have been so happy with how it all turned out. It was definitely a labor of love. It took some time and some planning, but the end result has been so worth it. Everything is easier to find. We are just so happy with how it turned out. If you made it all this way to the end, I so appreciate you. If you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. But other than that, thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time. Bye. Nothing at all, I was gone.